Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome to game number 24, day number 24 of my 30 games in 30 days challenge where I'm playing old games, new games, silly games, serious games. Games I've never played before, or haven't played since I was younger. Uh, this game is Mother Gunship. It's actually releasing uh, tomorrow, July 17th. And it is a new game, something I haven't played before, and it's kind of silly, but also kind of serious. Like, the production quality seems really high, uh, but it's kind of like it's a first-person bullet hell shooter. Uh, but you're crafting your own guns, you're fighting these huge bosses, it's very hectic. Uh, and then in August, they're adding co-op as well, so uh, it'll be even crazier at that point in time. But uh, let's jump in here and let's see what Mother Gunship is all about. I'll have links down below if you're interested in checking it out. Here we go. Is that them? Did we find the right ship? It's someone, Wilkinson. That's good enough for me. They'll do. <laughs> Give them the armor. Listen, recruit. You They'll may do. Not remember that's great. Much, but that's not really important to me. What is important great. is that we get you out of there. Get moving. It's <laughs> got good voice acting. I like that. The armor you have is equipped with triple jump boots. We'll see about upgrading that more if you make it out alive. Looks really good. If for some reason I have like a, uh, like an old, like abandoned portal facility vibe, you know? Oh, oh triple jumps. Oh, I like that. Max energy. You can see like, uh, I think the three icons in the top right are showing the triple jump usage. Yeah, nice. That's cool. You never have too many jumps. Sensors show that there are a few turrets in the next room. Punch them in the face parts. Or <laughs> anywhere, really. Just okay. punch them. I'll fight th Oh, look! We've taken 11 jumps! This is good. Oh, okay. Look at the arms! Oh my god. We gotta get some guns on this bad boy. Your Nailed it. Armor can take a beating, but you'll need a gun. In that shop, there should be some gun parts and a crafting bench. Pick up the parts and activate the station. I feel like we're very low to the ground. Like, look at this. I'm like, uh, we're very low. Okay, what is this? Connector Pick 2, solid. First. After that, you can activate the crafting station. I'm not letting you out of there until you get yourself a gun. Your fists are cool, <laughs> but not that cool. Yeah, you're damn right. All right, let's get all these parts. Chain gun, damage four, fire rate 10, crit chance five. What else? Rocket mod. Yes, please. Connector. All right, teach Welcome me how to build Joe's a gun. Arms and armory crafting stations, where the only limit to your destructive capabilities is your imagination. The secret behind Joe's crafting station is in its unique mix of modular parts. It's like playing with blocks, just highly explosive. Oh, this good. This is the gun you are crafting. The glowing arrows designate sockets you can select. When you select a socket, you have access to your inventory, where you can select parts. You have three tabs in your inventory. Connectors, Connectors barrels, and caps. More sockets. Caps do funny things to your entire gun. <laughs> and barrels, well, those should be obvious. It kind of gives me like a Borderlands board. vibe a little First, bit. First, parts have to physically fit where you want to put them. And second, barrels need to face forward. You can thank the insurance companies for that. That makes sense. Go ahead and try adding a new part now. Okay, so we got barrels and then caps, the ricochet mod. Let's add a, uh... Oh, I see, okay. Bizarre. If we put this forward... And I've got two sockets. Parts, however you want, but keep an eye on your energy costs. Every part you add costs more energy to fire. So sure, oh. build a 40 barrel gun if you want. Just be prepared to only fire once before having to wait for the recharge. Okay. Okay. So now we can add something else to this socket though. We can add like the chain gun part. It's got 12 energy costs. Nice. Nice. And what about down here? Can I put that cap on? Why not? 17 energy cost. But let's see what we got here. Crafting? Don't worry, you'll get better at it. Wilkinson, can you get that door open? I'm on it. Be cool if I could get like a good look at uh, the weapon when it's on me. Maybe we'll see that later. 
collect any money you find. That's how we fund this resistance, after all. It's also the only way you're getting a better gun. At least for now. Okay. Cash it is. Oh, there we go. I see. Basic. Basic Betty's right there. Well, we nailed them. So, so it's like it's split into these chambers. Kind of interesting. Should be easy to spot. Big. It's probably red, very obvious. tutorialized. So. The archivists like to do things by the book here. That's your ticket out. Oh, there's another gun. There, there we go. Okay. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, we've got these platforms. Man, it's like there's so many cool little uh, callbacks to other games. It's interesting. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, what is this doing? It's like some giant, like... I don't even know what that is. It explodes in like a square. And you can see the energy being used on the left side. This thing can be seemingly fired... forever. Oh no, sorry. We have energy on the right side as well. I gotcha. There we go. There we go. Hey, do you want to shop here at all? We've got eight gold. Another connector. Energy stream. What is on this side? Lightning rod. Or connector three arm. So three sockets. Let's let's take this thing. And let's see what that gets us. This is our left one. Okay, so this is the one we currently have. We do have a socket here. And I have to, we do have to face this forward. So, likely not gonna work out unless we build a completely different gun. Uh, which we could do. Can I remove? Yeah, here. What if I remove this thing? And then we have another connector available. And we can throw in that lightning rod. Oh! <laughs> yes. 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 Let's see how this goes. So, like, the possibilities... ...seem... <laughs> ...pretty crazy, actually. You know, I wasn't expecting someone like you. No? Our intel Doesn't said surprise you were me. quite the soldier back during the invasion. I hope you're as good as the records indicate. Whoa! I think I just took that to the face. I'm trying to get a feel for how much damage this left one is doing. It's not bad. It's really slow firing rate, though. That's the challenge. That triple jump is nice. What is this, like, boss? Hey, did you see how that last door had a skull in front of it? I sure did. I do that to my office, too. That's how you know I'm the boss. <laughs> God knows why the aliens do it, though. Uh, I can't imagine. Okay, I'm going down. Pit crawler. Oh. Oh, great. This is bad news. Can I only hit him when he's open like this? I think so. Whoa. Maybe I just need to get right to the end. It doesn't seem to open until he gets to the door. Careful, careful, careful. Yikes. He's got a lot of health, and I don't. Uh, 
I'm not taking that thing out, I don't think. Oh, there we go. So we can refill energy. We probably should have saved that till I wasted all my bullets. Just survive. Just survive. Damn! Get back up, soldier. The resistance isn't done with you yet. Oh, he's giving it. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Almost. Got him! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that's insane. That's wild. Well, I <laughs> that's didn't think crazy. You'd run into anything that large. Oh, but really? You held your own. That's probably what the skull door was all about. Anyway, find that self-destruct button and get out of there. I wonder if the. Uh, I think I was dead, but he brought me back. I don't know if that's just because it's a tutorial. This is not a self-destruct button. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> this is such a weird like. Uh, I mean, I keep getting, like, Borderland portal vibes, but, like, without the portals and without the board, Like, it's weird. It's hard to describe if I had to, like, compare it to something. Also, like, Doom. I played a little bit of the new Doom. Oh, boy. Escape pod, let's go. It almost sounds like the guy who's like, uh, who does the Cave Johnson voice from Portal 2, but... Oh, we won. GG. That's, that's, uh, that's Good Mother work. Gunship. <laughs> You're not dead. We're sending a shuttle for you now. But there's no time to rest. Your work is just beginning. I'm getting that vibe. See those ships? Each one of them is an obstacle. Each one will be a battle that will test the very metal of the resistance. And each one will get us one step closer to our final objective. There she is, soldier. The heart of the Archivist fleet. That's the thing holding Earth hostage. Jeez. That's our target. That's the mother gunship. Don't worry, I'll just shoot it with my guns. Shouldn't be any problem. I'm sure it'll only take like three or four hits. Go down pretty easy. Welcome to the Resistance. All right. Welcome to your headquarters. Fully autonomous and isolated from the rest of the Resistance. Just in case you're compromised. Man, okay. That's Jasper. A loner AI who runs the ship. Loner is in borrowed, not, I'm you know, loner. Tech support, and I'm your on-site <laughs> certified maintenance representative from Joe's Arms and Armory. Joe's Arms and Armory. Gun-shaped solutions for alien armada shape problems. I've got three other totally non-expendable agents on other ships to onboard today, so I'll keep this brief. Get your missions from the missions console. And remember, there's no potty on board, because life expectancy <laughs> isn't what it used to be. When you're ready, head on up to the bridge. There's a panel under that big globe you can activate to see your next mission. I like how they really dumb it down for me. There's a panel under that giant globe there? All right. The Resistance is about more than just destroying the Mother Gunship. There's an entire armada to destroy, too. Select an Archivist ship to choose your mission. Right now, our scanners only pick up one within range. That won't always be the case. Okay. So, just another day on the job. If we're going to destroy the Mother Gunship, we need to find it. We know it exists. It's just cloaked. We need to find intel on how to decloak it. There's a saw blade reward. Yeah, let's go. Select it. No. We're giving you ah, there we go. Space. You started, recruit. Everyone likes options. You can only bring a few gun parts with you on a mission. Some missions will allow for more gun parts. 
Don't judge me. I okay. Rules. Right. And if you die, you'll lose all the gun parts you have taken with you. Avoid that. I will try my best. What kind of barrels do we want here? So we got blasters, heavy blasters, uh, energy stream. I'd like to have something that uses like a lot, like may maybe not a flamethrower. Projectiles are kind of nice. Maybe like a grenade launcher. But then we want also something that we can just spam a lot of, like rapid shotgun. And it will take... I don't know if we can build out two guns or not. Oh, we'll probably find stuff in there too, right? Well, it's kind of a tough call. But we're only I'm only guessing. Getting intel about cloaking. <laughs> okay, Get on it. That ship. Get the data core. Good luck. For some reason I couldn't click the launch mission button. Uh, so yes, I had to con I connected my controller, ship. which we then let me accept it, which is kind of weird, but ships. But I know what you will build here. Character. Get it? Good. Now go get that oh. intel and don't melt your face off. The data core Another should crash only landing? Rooms in. It should be as simple as getting in, getting the core, and getting out. Nice and easy. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. Alright, let's whip up this new gun here. Uh, we have a basic socket, which we can attach this to. I might only have... I might only have the one uh, gun right now, but I can attach both, I think. But it's gonna be... Very expensive to shoot. We'll see how we'll see how we do. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward because I want to be shooting fast, but we'll see. We'll eventually find eventually another one. I hope. To the ship's core. It's just a matter of how dangerous the trip is. All right, let's get in. Yeah, so we have a shop over there. All right, here we go. Hit me with the second one. Here. But keep in mind, you can only bring a certain amount of gun parts back with you. If you die, well, we have a plan for that, but your gun parts won't come along. I hear ya. What's this bad boy? Goliath EM-1. Crit chance times two. Let me put that on my brand new blaster I'm about to build. And let's grab... Yeah, we can grab a triangle connector. Why not? Okay. So we'll do the triangle connector. We'll add to the top socket, add this barrel. And then let's double the crit chance. Done. I should change this left one sooner rather than later, but I kind of want to like well, mess around with it a little bit. Shepherding another starry-eyed you to their doom, I see. <laughs> Hylas, you take your amphibious keister out of here. We don't have time to talk to you. Commander Hylas leads the flight squadron. They're attempting to take on the alien fleet head on. Same way we've been trying since the beginning of this war. That's why the Admiral tasked me with finding an alternative. Ah, is that what you think? The Admiral gave you this operation to keep you out of the way. I like the voice acting. It's good, man. They're funny. It's, yeah, shotgun grenade launcher, great combo, great combo. This thing seems to be making some shields. It's not making shields anymore. Oh, hello. All right, let me, let me fix this left gun. I want to stick with the shotgun, I think. Oh, look at this. 20 health too, you can have, all right. Let me go in here. I'm going to remove... Go to remove mode, and we're going to remove the grenade launcher. Toggle attach mode. I don't know if I have... No, I don't have any other caps, so this is fine. Let's keep it like this, then. Now it's just straight-up shotgun, albeit it's underwhelming sounding. But it is a rapid shotgun. What am I expecting? I wonder if it'll open up eventually, and the rooms become, uh, maybe larger? I've cut off Hylas's feed, Colonel. 
At least for now. Thanks, Wilkinson. Hylos used to care about the Earth and saving it from the aliens. Now he just cares about publicity moments and scoring paid endorsements. Remember, flight squadrons don't make you cool. That's what sunglasses are for. <laughs> and leather jackets. We're I'm all on the same side, Colonel. I wonder if the, uh, if the crit thing would be better on the shotgun. The thing I like about it on a- on something that shoots even faster, though, is that theoretically you're, like, critting more often, but for less damage, so I don't know what's more valuable, you know? Let's try it. Let's swap it. Easy. So we'll go over here. We'll do, uh, remove mode. Take out this Goliath. And we'll throw it on this one. See how we like it. Could also, let's grab this health now. And I imagine I have to still have to slot it. Oh no, I don't. Okay, it's just a um it's just a passive. Seems good. Seems good. And then these things that like max out your energy. I assume it's better to use those in like in the middle of a fight. So if you see it, you kind of like spam everything and then go and grab the that and keep shooting. The, next room. the data core should be there. For how badly Threat levels are constantly war, increasing. Archivists are pretty predictable. They're only winning because they cheat. The Admiral told me that himself. Hello. What is exactly happening here? Well, they're like ricocheting. I'm just running for it. Got him. Let's grab that stuff. Some health as well. Okay. Is there anything in here that looks like we gotta have it? S, pr S prayer tooth. Thousand? Oh, like spray, <laughs> sprayer, sprayer. Two thousand. Twenty damage. Fire rate plus five. Pushback and spread plus fifty. Let's try it. Instead of this shotgun. Let's go remove mode. We'll go. We could throw this connector back on. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. This is a, uh, this is a cap. So it's just gonna modify this spread a little bit more. I wonder if that's not better suited... ...on the other one. I'll keep the Goliath here. Let's throw this sprayer on this one. All right. Where's my exit? We came in from that side. Oh, here maybe? No. Ah, here we go. What's this thing? Is this gonna give me another jump? Yes, it is, I think. Max jumps is up. Cool. We probably need that. Nope, there's no way I'm getting up there. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Maybe this is, okay, maybe what these max energy things is doing, I think it's adding slowly to that bar. I don't think it's actually replenishing. It's making that bar slightly longer each time. Whoa, what the? This looks like a safe spot. Oh.
That is a seriously heavily fortified door. But another jump. Okay. Hey, There's got to be some job, areas that we like need to have these jumps for them. Deploying new kinds of threats against us. No one has seen them all yet, except the admiral, perhaps. Yes, the admiral has seen everything. You know, they say the admiral ripped off the arm of a spider tank and javelined it into the eye of a bloater. There's a true Olympian for you. The thought of that just warms my jaded heart. <laughs> what the? What? Okay. Oh, the sweet smell of victory. Oh, that victory smells good. Smells damn good. So there's something in the in with using the mouse and keyboard where like I for some reason cannot click on these. It's like operated by spacebar, but then in some screens I can't click anything. It's very weird. I hope they fix that. Uh, back to HQ, I guess. Let's rock. You're back, and you got the data core. Wilkinson, can you analyze that thing for information on the cloaking device? Of course I can. Just a moment. Jasper, analyze that data core. You don't get credit for analyzing something if you just tell me to do it. <laughs> just analyze it. Mm. This is interesting. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh dear. What's happening, Jasper? This is terrible. What did you bring back? Whoa, we got a virus. <laughs> He's got a virus. That's good. Infected with what? Are those hollow ads? Quick, go touch one. I want a free vacation. <laughs> Are those vitamins? Everyone loves vitamins. Never click yes, pop-up ads in real life. <laughs> God knows what it's messed up. Guys, I feel Awful. I didn't know AIs could have headaches. And there doesn't even seem to be any actual data on this data core either. Good heavens. We got ripped off, intel Colonel. Is rubbish. Recruit, go find a better intel. Are you sure that's a good idea? Who knows what problems that one will have. Of course it's a good idea. They can try out the new armory while they're at it. Sure. Let's break everything around here. Just unlock the door to the armory wing, Wilkinson. All right, let's check the armory in this area. Yeah, here. Whoa. Yes. This is your armory. This is where you can upgrade your armor. Add jumps, add abilities. You can do a lot here. As what? you destroy aliens, you will collect XP. Each time oh, that's you what the purple XP stuff bar, is for. You're awarded another upgrade point to use in the armory. Many things can be upgraded multiple times, but keep in mind that you can only pick a single selection from each category. But don't worry. You can always downgrade your choices and choose again if you want to activate something else. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to take the speed. But now, okay. okay. Back to work. Head to the mission console. We've got things to talk about. Is this the same thing over here? It is. So I'm guessing that... I wonder why there's two. Maybe because when you're in co-op, uh, when that unlocks in August, then you can both be operating the armory at the same time. They both seem to rely on the same. Oh, look at the movement speed, though. I'm cruising. <laughs> I am cruising. Should we do one more? Let's let's see if we can do one more. You have a choice here. You can target the smaller alien ships to help acquire the gun parts and resources you need. Sometimes you oh, have to I save see. up to take on the main objectives. Okay, let's do this side mission. You're not forced to do this, but you are forced to use these parts if you do. That's fine. Sometimes our contract with Joe's Arms and Armory requires the use of certain parts. It's really whatever their marketing department is pushing that day. <laughs> you don't have to use them, but you have to bring them with you. Ah, fair. Okay. Well, let's do it. I do like that every mission you go in and you just start with nothing, and then you craft a new gun. And on these ones where it forces you... I, I kind of like that as a, um, as like, it forces you to experiment a little bit. I'm going to put it on this one, though. No, wait. Uh, no, I'm not. I want to put it on this one. Okay, so let's do this barrel. Actually, I'm going to have to remove this. We're going to add a connector. We'll do uh, the oval. We'll throw in the energy orb. Oh, look at this. So there's a conflict in fitting. 
maybe if we use the other connector. Oh, look at that. Okay. What if I put it here? Oh, so connector to connector, and then you can kind of shuffle things around a bit. That is neat. I can see a lot of people, like, theory crafting, like, what's the best thing to do? A lot of experimentation. There'll probably be a gigantic wiki for this game where people just go in and be like, here's the best thing to do. Whoa. Need to aim a little higher there. That's the ricochet. All right, cool. Cool. I don't need to buy anything yet. We'll save up some cash. We're at two bucks. The two bucks here is like... Seemingly like... At least 150 Canadian bucks. But two of these... Oh, hello. Two of these are pretty taking out one of those giant things. Pick me up. Big boy. You got a big boy. Yikes. Not doing any work there. Oh. <laughs> These things have like heavy fall. Like watching from the other side of the room, not ideal. Worth it though, that guy. Worth it. Worth it. How much damage have we done? 1200. Yeah, that's right. It's not bad. It's not bad. That's not doing anything. motor. We'll shop at the next place that we see. There may have been one on that other side, actually, but... Whoa! Oh, hello. Okay, let's shop here. Get a second gun. Spike ball launcher sounds cool. Uh, health seems good. Let's grab that. I'll grab this connector and this bad boy. Okay. Connector's on. Spike ball launcher's on. Jesus. What do these do? Whoa! What the hell? There's... <laughs> Holy moly. Everything's huge in here. Yeah, the flamethrower, uh, heavy damage, actually. Oh, 
Oh my god. Don't take this personally, but I like you better when you don't lose. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. You could see it. It got pretty intense in there. Uh, Weapon-wise, I feel like that spike ball, not the right choice. Not the right choice, but... I mean, it's all good. We're learning. This is fun, actually. This is not my style of game at all. Not my style at all, as you can probably tell. But uh, fun to check out, and like for the people that are into this, you're going to love this, I think. Like th If you're into this style of game, I think this is doing it really well. Uh, it's funny. It's got really like crazy enemies in there. If you're playing it co-op, I think co-op is going to be like exceptional. That would be where it gets really fun, because uh, you're like just yelling at your buddy nonstop. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap it up here on, on that failure. But, uh, I had fun. It's neat. It's a different game than I would expect. As I said, it's coming out, uh, tomorrow, the 17th of July. If you want to check it all, I'll have links below. But, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.